Welcome to the introductory clip to the evaluation tool for content. The tool was initially produced for evaluating the existing and or proposed content on virtual campus, the offender learning and skill service virtual learning environment. Hence the initials used VC hyphen ETC. But it's also been made available to the wider FE and skill sector as the VLE hyphen ETC version. My name's John Diel and working with Alistair McNaught from Tectus, we produced two versions of the tool, one Excel based and the other produced using an authoring tool called Quandary. You should be aware that currently Quandary is only available for Windows. The URL for their website where you can find out more is shown here. So what's so special about this tool? This virtual learning environment evaluation tool for content. It's designed as an interactive resource to aid stakeholders when they are assessing the quality of proposed and or existing teaching and learning resources. How? Well, what would you and or curriculum experts, those responsible for quality, practitioners, learners, etc., when you're actually looking at any existing or proposed VLE content, what would you identify as the elements that you could be measuring? When the word pause appears, just pause the video and see how many elements you can actually identify that you could measure. Just a quick tip, we identified five. Okay, pause the video now. How did you do? Well, the virtual learning environment evaluation tool for content works by measuring the following elements. It measures the range of media that's used within the resource, the accessibility of the resources and how much the resources can be personalized, the cognitive requirements of the task being assessed, the opportunities provided for quality feedback and the content accuracy and suitability. Users of the evaluation tool for content should note that the resulting score produced by the uh, tool only gives an approximation based upon idealized resources. The final assessment should consider whether the resource that you're evaluating is actually fit for purpose. For example, a resource created to meet a very narrow need might actually be gold quality without scoring very highly when you use the tool, since some of the criteria used in the evaluation may be less relevant. Gold quality? Oh yes, the evaluation tool for content awards gold, silver and bronze status or no award. The five assets mentioned earlier, um, measuring the range of media used, measuring the accessibility of the resources and how much resources can be personalized, measuring the cognitive requirements of the tasks being assessed, and measuring the opportunity for quality formative feedback and lastly, measuring the accuracy um, of the content and its suitability are all awarded points depending upon the user's responses when they're actually assessing the content. Well, it's time for another pause. Which of these elements used in the evaluation tool for content do you think are the most important and therefore should be weighted more strongly? Pause the clip now. Again, how well did you do? First of all, accessibility and personalization are weighted more strongly 
as are more engaging tasks in cognitive requirements, the higher order thinking skills, and formative feedback has a higher weighting as well. When you actually use the uh, virtual learning environment evaluation tool for content, whatever the result, the final assessment should consider whether the resource is fit for purpose. For example, a resource created to meet a marrow need, as I said earlier, might be gold quality without scoring very highly in some of the criteria that we've identified. Uh, and, and they may be less relevant. With all that in mind, you're now ready to move on to have a look at the next clip, which is getting started with the evaluation tool for content.